In this video, we're going to talk about multiple regression. Um, so the data file that uh, you should be looking at uh, is the one that's labeled college. You won't have any of these extra tabs yet. But what we're doing is with this file is, is the assumption that maybe I can predict how much money I will earn after I go to one of these colleges, okay? And I'm thinking that being able to predict the earnings may have something to do with cost of the college, um, the graduation rate, the amount of debt that the students try to pay off um, once they graduate, and then whether or not it's in a city or uh, not in a city. Uh, and this, this is just a dummy variable for city or not a city. If you go down through and look at it, you would say that Boston College, or Boston University rather, is in Boston. It's a, it's a fairly large city. However, if you look more at uh, Carroll College in Helen, Mon Montana, that's not really that big of a, a place. Um, so anyway, city is just written as a dummy variable. Either it's a big city or it's not a big city. So what I'm going to do here with the multiple regression is I'm going to go into um, my uh, data. So if I click on data, go to data analysis, one of the options that I have in data analysis is regression. Again, if you don't have uh, this in yours, it means you need to add the data tool pack. Okay, so I'm doing regression. When I go into do regression, the Y variable is the variable that I'm trying to predict. Okay, I'm trying to predict earnings. So as you can see here, I've clicked and highlighted everything of the data set for B, column B. And I'm going to predict it using everything from C all the way over to F. So let me make sure that I adjust this a little bit to F now. And once again, what we're trying to say is I am going to predict earning, earnings using column C, column D, column E, column F. All right. Make sure that labels is clicked. This is a 95% confidence that interval that we're working off of, our confidence level that we're working here. I'm going to add it to a new sheet whenever it goes through. Okay, and when you click OK, when you click OK, you should get this data. Here's what the data is telling you. It says that my R squared, as we mentioned before, that this model is explaining approximately 43% of all of the variance. No, 43% of the variance of what? 43% of the variance in the amount of money that I make is going to be explained by four variables, cost, graduation, debt, city. There's an R, adjusted R squared um, that's discussed more in the book. Uh, you can go in and take a look at that. Uh, it, and it, it just talks about the mathematical changes that we can do for an adjusted R squared value. We're gonna look at the uh, regular R squared value. So R squared, 0.642, 42% of, uh, of the variance being explained. And then the next thing that I want you to look at is the equation that has been generated. Okay, the equation for this now is the amount of money that I'm going to make equals, look at my coefficients, 0.43 times cost plus 178 Point one times graduation plus 141.5 times the debt plus 2526.8 times city plus the intercept 10005. Um, and so what we're saying is that this is now, if I want to predict how much money I'm going to make, this is the equation that I'm going to use. Linear regression, it just has multiple um, variables that I'm using to predict it. The question that you need to answer as you do this multiple regression is you need to determine which variables you should keep. Simplified, I shouldn't say it that way, more simple normally is easier to explain to the boss. So which of these variables should I look at? Well, let's look at the p-values. 
And if we go back and talk once again about the probabilities um, that we had before in, in the probability um, session in the book, the probability says, you know, what confidence do I have that this matters? Anything that's less than 0 0.05 uh, means that it is a high probability that it matters to me. So once again, anything lower than 0 0.05. So you can see cost, really, really, really small p-value. This matters um, to us. It's less than 0 0.05 by a lot. Graduation rate, again, less than 0 0.05. Probably, I would definitely, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say probably. I would definitely keep this. But look at debt. Debt has a p-value of 0.229987. Well, that's above 0 0.05. What happens if maybe we don't keep debt, because it's saying that I can, you know, it, it's in my model. Um, I had to consider it because I'm the one that selected it that way. But since it's above 0.05, should I keep it in this model or should I consider throwing it away? All right, city, 0.02 is definitely less than 0.05. So let's now instead, let's, let's go back and just see what happens if I get rid of debt. Okay, so if I go in and I take out the column for debt. I run another um, multiple regression, again, trying to project earnings. This time I'm just gonna use C, D, and E. Whenever I run it, this is the data that I get, okay? This is the new output. You can see that debt is no longer here. And what I've done for comparison's sake, this is our previous model. This is what we got over here. You can see that the R squared was 0.49 or 0.429. So I've just copied and pasted over here. So let's take a look. This is the old model. I was able to explain 42.9% of the variance. I took debt out and it only went down very small amount. I mean, we went from 42.9% down to 42.1. So I haven't lost much explanatory power of the model, but I have been able to reduce my variables from four down to three. Notice that whenever we ran this now, we do have new coefficients, okay? Y now equals 0 0.45 plus 2, 3, uh, 237.4 times graduation times the uh, 2344 times city with an intercept of 18308. So what I'm really trying to do here with the multiple regression, I need to find the variables that matter. And you can see here with my p-values that removing the uh, debt actually caused these values to all get smaller, which means that my model really is, uh, uh, this is a better model for us to be using uh, for the future. So with the multiple regression, you are trying to one, use the software to come up with an answer and then use the analysis or the, uh, the values from your p-value and your r-squared values to get to a model that's easier for you to explain and that you can still predict uh, the future. So hopefully this helps you understand a little bit better how to use multiple regression and how to go ahead and trim some of those variables out of there.